Still on the River State political crisis, Liberals legal expert Liberos Oshoma says elder statesmen and supporters of uh, Governor Fubara and his predecessor Yesom Wike have a duty to call both parties to order and have them sheath their swords. Speaking on TV360's flagship program, Deji 360, Oshoma says the crisis has increased development challenges in the state. He further faulted for Barra's statement in which he claimed that the River State House of Assembly exists based on his magnanimity. This crisis is not, um, um, Governor Fubara is not only complicit, even Wike also, who is the godfather of this order, including the, the Governor Fubara, who is God, Governor Fubara's godfather and the godfather of all of these politicians, also is also complicit in the matter. So two of them, that's why I said two of them should be called to order. Uh, Wiki is somewhere beating the drums for those other persons who are, you know, are on ground to do his bidding. Um, like they say, he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. And that's why initially, when this whole crisis started, I had sympathy for Governor Barra, believing that there's always um, a way of the godfathers always wanting to take a bite much more than they can chew, just like... Um, uh, we saw between Obaseki and Oshomole. And then um, Obaseki set the precedent that others are following now by refusing to inaugurate a duly constituted State House of Assembly. And true to type, you know, for four years, he ran a state without a, a, a properly constituted House of Assembly. And the judiciary also, because they were under the April strain of the state ex executive, for four years, passed that court, that passed that uh, case you know, between nine judges, amongst nine judges, and didn't even mention it for one day. So in the same vein, I see Governor Fubara having learned so well from uh, his uh, counterpart, PDP Governor uh, uh, of uh, Edo State of Baseki, you know, also now wanting to recognize a, a usurper uh, or a self-acclaimed speaker. I think I see this more like a script. So if uh, your godfather had decided to hijack the State House of Assembly, Create whatever you want to create and call it a House of Assembly. You know, just put a stamp there and recognize it as a House of Assembly for the purpose of the Constitution and begin to run with it. But we cannot grow democracy like this. If everybody now begins to create their own House of Assembly, 